In one possible timeline, Ace began a life on Gallifrey, from which she went missing and the doctor was asked to look for her. Benny was then sent to look for her. Benny followed a trace of Ace to Adeline where Ace had left some Nitro-9, proving that she was there. Benny then discovered that Ace had transmatted somewhere. Ace was stranded on a forbidden world which was trapped in a decaying time lock. She lived in a 24-hour time loop, which meant she and Benny had to live through it with no memory of previous days. On the planet, there was a set of ghosts that randomly appeared and she had to evade each day. She tried to get Benny to trust her again. She got angry that the doctor sent Benny to find her. She tried to warn Benny about Clinus. When Benny wanted to get into the abandoned city, Ace tried to stop her from doing it. At the academy, she was given the planet of Talmason to watch over. Visiting Earth to catch up with her mother, she discovered that she had died from cancer. When she returned, she discovered that Talmason had been wiped out by the Daleks, prompting her to wipe them out by time-locking Skaro with an Omega device. Ace was sent by the doctor to follow Harmonious 14 Zinc to Eratune and was imprisoned with a nameless tracer who had taken human form. There, her memory was wiped by the robotic constables, but she was rescued by the doctor, who planned to restore her memory with the help of the TARDIS. Ace later saved Benny from being trapped in a pyramid on Mars. She explained to Benny that she had also seen the doctor die in 1941. Taking her to find the Eye of Horus for the doctor, the pair found that it wasn't in Satek's tomb. She used her thieving skills to try and steal it from a museum but discovered that it was already stolen. Ace and Benny tracked it down to Grawl's bank where they used it to release Isis. Isis revealed that the doctor was with her. When Benny and the doctor went missing, she vowed to find them. She then rescued Benny and the doctor. On seeing Satek's devastation, she thought that the doctor had gone a grand scheme too far. She went after Benny when she went to find the survivors. The doctor wanted to leave but Ace wouldn't let him without Benny. She brought a gun with her when she searched for Benny and used it to shoot at the skeletons that followed her. She eventually caught up with Benny just before Satek killed Alex Cortland and was about to be killed herself. She realized the doctor's trap for Satek and noticed that Satek was using a time storm to ensnare the doctor. She returned to Gallifrey and completed her academy training and joined the Celestial Intervention Agency. She undertook many missions for them, often to avert civilizations from discovering time travel, but was annoyed that her TARDIS had a working chameleon circuit, making it difficult to find in the field, and wished it could just appear to be an old police box. At some point during her time on Gallifrey, she was tasked with alerting the Doctor and Rain Creevy that the Reborn Master had stolen the dimensional nodes from the vault on Tercerus. Due to the energy drain at the Doctor's location, she couldn't get the full message out. During her time on Gallifrey, Ace modified an old TARDIS, though it became stuck in the shape of an arcade game.